the FDA has approved a new indication for lenalidomide maintenance after auto transplant for multiple myeloma. Most patients with multiple myeloma receive what is called an induction therapy. And then uh, if they are what we call transplant eligible, they're fit enough, they will undergo high dose melphalan followed by stem cell rescue, and we call this a stem cell transplant. And then after they recover from that, they're still concerned that the disease will come back. So we did a study called CLGB-100-104 through what is now called the Alliance, and we found that when compared to placebo, a sugar pill, those patients who received lenalidomide had an improved progression-free survival. That means they had a better time uh, without the disease coming back. In other words, the disease took longer to come back. We also showed in the 10104 study that there is an improved overall survival, which we found very exciting. Currently, multiple myeloma is not a curable disease. We do have some patients who live long periods of time. We have some patients who are over 10 years without recurrence or requiring further therapy, but we don't know who they are, and that's the vast minority of patients. The majority of patients do relapse or require further therapy. Maintenance therapy allows us to control the disease longer. And in the meantime, we need to develop new strategies, and we are looking at novel ways of controlling disease and maybe someday curing this illness. We continue to show improvement in survival in our myeloma patients. Just in 2015 alone, there were five new drugs approved, and that was very exciting. However, we still haven't cured this disease. So what we need to do now is figure out what's the best way to use these new drugs, do we save them for relapse? Do we use them up front? And so there are several studies that are now looking at some of the newer agents as part of upfront therapy. Our long-term goal is, of course, to cure this disease. But in the meantime, we are looking at long-term disease control to keep patients alive longer with good quality of life with a therapy that's easy to take and maintains a disease control.